Uh, yeah, we got a volley, uh, heavenly host milk coming in. Oh. Oh, well, we missed a little bugger. And, uh, so solar stormy weather, you, you might want to keep your eyes peeled. <clears throat> like I say, we're, we're, we're obviously quite ripe for a Carrington event. Things just keep being saturated and uh, yeah, it looks pretty obvious. We're, we're getting something from, from that CG too. <sighs> At the uh, Galactic Center, which, you know, of course was, you know, like 23,600 years ago, but <clears throat> it takes a while. It's, it's quite a trip apparently. So, uh, keep your eyes on the sun. Well, you know, not, don't keep your eye on the sun, but you might, you might want to pay attention to your solar weather. We are now every bit as risky as when the shields were way down back at, uh, in 2010. And, uh, <clears throat> and Jupiter hadn't, um, crossed over. And obvious we're, we're, we're going from pole to pole here, so we're, Jupiter's doing its, uh, uh, second snap, shall we say, on its orbit. And, uh, we should be done the pole reversal pretty soon, hopefully. But you never know, because it's quite obvious there's something coming on from the, from the, the diner at the center of the galaxy. <clears throat> Clearly, everyone's getting it. Keep your eye on the on the space weather. Good, good risk of Carrington when it's all primed upstairs with plasma and never gets a chance to discharge. It just takes the right setup. Even though the volley we have now seem to be north oriented, something in the south just has to let loose and there you go. The orientation is there, you, you got the setup. Okay. All right, let's go then. <clears throat> and we should have incoming on April the 1st, the start of it. That's uh, already a couple of medium M's and an X, small X.